I'm Lee Stahl, the CEO of The Renovated Home. Let's take a look at this listing, 525 Park Avenue. So there's two kinds of estates, right? There's an estate that you have to obliterate it and take everything down to the studs. And then there are estates where people have lovingly taken care of the place for 80 years and it needs updating. This is an apartment that I think needs updating. I don't think that you want to reinvent this wheel. I think the real question is, where do you want to spend your money? And what we preach all day long is, where's the value? Don't overshoot the runway. The fireplace, great height. I don't have to take you know, a fireplace from 80 years up here. If you want to put a TV in this mirror, I could do that if you want to use these rooms and make these rooms less about being museums. The paneling, some people are going to keep it. Some people are gonna get rid of it. Some people are gonna lacquer it. The crown, the dental, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna look at those seams. And those seams are gonna drive me crazy, so I'm gonna to have to get rid of the seams. I've got herringbone floors. They're gonna sand. They've been taken care of for 80 years. Why am I gonna rip them out? I'm only gonna rip them out if the client wants a different floor. But what's important, watch this. When they, dip, when they built this room, these cabinets were not here, but the floor started. So the border, where it goes around the room and then it dies behind the cabinet. So what do I have to do as being the neurotic that I am? I gotta bring that border back. Now, what's somebody gonna wanna do to this apartment? They're gonna wanna make this opening bigger. They may wanna close this opening and put in openings left and right of this opening, but put the TV on this wall and then have flanking openings with pocket doors going in and I pick up all that Western light. So updating details in these apartments are really what it's all about. The crown molding that's up here with the egg and dart detail is very specific to a style. What are people wanting now? They're gonna want a nice big sloping cove to make 10 foot ceilings feel like 11 foot ceilings. Less is more when you're trying to make these apartments updated without obliterating them and also just making them more in tune with what people are asking for today. First of all, there's access to the living room. So if you need the third bedroom, you've got it. But if you want to make this into a library, it'd be a fantastic library. What's it missing? It's missing a crown molding. Put in a great molding, a big sloping cove. Get rid of all these built-ins. It's built in heavy. Clean the doors up a little bit. And possibly, we were talking about earlier, raising all the doors beyond eight feet, it definitely makes sense to do that. And then I'm putting lighting in this room because this room is dark. So you wouldn't even know we dropped the ceiling and I could put pin spots all throughout this room, throughout this apartment, and you'd never feel it on the height of the apartment. That's what's cool about it. Okay, first thing I'm doing is I'm taking out those window treatments, right? Too much is just not what people are looking for. The second thing I'm doing is I'm taking out this dental molding. There's dental in this apartment in two places. And what I really want to do is just put again, I know I keep saying it, big sweeping coves. I want to accentuate ceiling height. And with all these windows, if I were changing them, great. And if not, I'm electrostatically, say that five times fast, painting them. Because all of a sudden the dark frames go away, they become light, and all you see is glass. And that makes a massive difference without having to rip every window in this place out.